and the 56-year-old actor was greeted by some of his former castmates while giving his introduction monologue. Ellie Kemper, Ed Helms, Jenna Fisher, and his wife Nancy, who played Carol on the NBC sitcom, all called for their former boss to reboot The Office. As soon as Carell began to give his monologue, he was interrupted by different SNL cast members asking him to reboot The Office, including Keenan Thompson, 40. The 40-year-old Virgin star responded by asking if he would reboot Keenan and Kel, to which the former Nickelodeon star said, it would be an honor. Then his former Office castmates pressed Carell one by one, including his wife, and he then invited them all on stage, and started the show. The show's cold open saw Kate McKinnon once again in the role of Laura Ingram, on her show The Ingram Angle. The segment started by taking on the midterm elections, voting fraud, and took a couple shots at President Donald Trump. Then it took swings at Facebook, Nancy Pelosi, and, of course, Ingram's show. For one sketch, Carell transformed into Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, complete with bald head and talked about the new locations of his Amazon headquarters, while also poking fun at Trump. At one point her remarked, I'm literally 100 times richer than you. Later, Pete Davidson and Chris Red hyped up Ruth Bader Ginsburg with a hilarious rap called Live for Ginsburg. Next, Carell was an astronaut speaking to middle school students from around the world from the International Space Station, where disaster struck. LMI then delivered a strong and straightforward performance of her hit track Boot Up. Weekend Update with Colin Yost and Michael Che was next and started by discussing the newly announced Amazon headquarters in Queens, New York, and Arlington, Virginia. Che then dug into voter fraud in Florida, and asked why it's so easy to pay taxes, but so hard to vote. Then Mikey Day played Congressman-elect Denver Riggleman as he addressed his Bigfoot erotica. The next sketch found Carell in a 1958 teenager's bedroom, where he sung to a high school dropout, encouraging her to return to school. LMI then returned for her second song, Trip, which she performed in front of a chain-link fence, and behind a park bench. Steve and Heidi Gardner were the stars of the next sketch, where they played a husband and wife who moved into an RV, and she wasn't honest about being happy about it. The second-to-last segment found the group on a distant planet celebrating a slightly underranged Thanksgiving. The final sketch was about a RuPaul-themed GPS for your car called, GPS.